Today we're going to be using a brand new bait. This thing is called the Shimmer Swimmer. Now the reason I was so excited about it is because it's got a small bait fish profile. And with it being fall right now, all the bass are feeding up to get fat for winter. They're balling up in schools and they're just going crazy feeding. And a lot of times when you get into the schools like that, you can throw everything in the tackle box at them and not get a bite. I've done it several times. And if you fish a lot in the fall and winter, you've probably done it too. So. What I like to do when I get into them schooling like that and they just won't bite, I like to put on something that looks really realistic and something the same size as the bait fish. This is the same size as the bait fish this time of the year and most of the time those bass will be so honed in on the bait fish that they're chasing, the size of it, the color of it and everything. It takes something kind of finesse to get those bites. So let's go over the features of this bait real quick. It's got glued in eyes and it also has a metallic strip that reflects light. So this is a clear color here. I would use this in clear water. Now this is a little bit darker color. This is the color we're gonna be using today. We're gonna do some pond hopping. We're at our first destination here. Pond number one, first cast. Let's hope we don't catch one on the first cast. Normally if I catch one on the first cast, it's a bad day. Now they're one of bass right there. Maybe that's where they're at. I just seen one jump out the water down here next to the bank after some bait fish. Let's see if I can go over here and, God, look at all the bait fish taking off the bank. Okay, well, we know that's where the bait fish are hiding at. Shallow water, really shallow right here. Yeah, there's tons of small bait fish that have hatched out in the past few months swimming off the bank right here, guys. And I think is what's going on, those bass, see there's one right there, are coming up and feeding on these small bait fish. Now, that's a better one right there. the heck is that is that a mud fish whatever it is he bit it ah oh, dang i missed him i can see him swimming around the water right there it looks like a mud fish i've never seen a mud fish in this pond though might have been a catfish let's find out what it is i'm gonna catch it oh he bit it again got the hook in it got the hook in it oh come off well he definitely won with his bait guys he bit it twice. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. All right. I switched it up, guys. I was getting bites with the Texas rig, but they weren't committing to it. So I put on this little eighth ounce Ned rig hook. So the hook's exposed. That way when they bite it, I can really get that hook in them. There he is. There he is. How big, what is this? It's a bass. Oh, he got off the bank. It counts. He touched the bank. Bass number two. So I've had enough of this pond. We're going to hop on over to the other pond where we're going to catch some donkeys. We are at the other pond now. Let's see if we can catch a giant. Oh, there he is. There he is. Come on up here. All right. Working our way up, guys. We just got to get us a 10 pounder. Ooh, he swiped it. Oh, oh, ah, oh, he missed it twice. He grabbed the trailer. Tag on. You're swiping it and missing it. Oh, he missed it. Oh, that, oh my God, I missed him. That was a big one, guys. I mean, that might have been a 10 pounder there. Dang, he bit my tail off. Since they keep biting the bait halfway down and I'm missing a lot of them, I'll put a trailer hook on here. Oh, he come out from under that log and grabbed it. I watched him. Still missed him. With the trailer hook on here, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still missing with the trailer hook, guys. This is crazy. So we are making our way around the pond. I keep seeing fish blowing up back here. Oh, oh. Oh, he grabbed it. Damn, I missed him again. Guys, I hope you've seen that. So he was following it up to the bank. I watched him fall to the bank. And then I seen him and I dropped it right in the grass. He picked it up out of the grass and ran off with it. And I set the hook and still missed the fish. 
Oh, there he is. I got him that time. It's a little bit smaller with the spinner bait. He was right at the bank. Oh, he grabbed it. He grabbed it. Got one. With the Texas rig. All right. He's a small one. Let's throw it back. Oh, he nailed it. Got him. Got him. Oh, he got off. Hello. Nobody wants to talk to Betty from the dealer processing department. Dang. There went one, guys. I've been hearing them bust. They've been busting back there in the shade and the trees. That's the first time I've seen one hit out in the middle. It's a good sign. That means the bite might be fixing to turn on fire. Oh, there he is. There he is. This is a good one. That's a solid one. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh wait, this might be a good one. This might be a good one, boys. Nope, another small one. Let's see if we can cull through these small ones to get the big ones. Small ones are fun. Oh, he grabbed it. He grabbed it. So guys, they just quit biting the spinnerbait. Seems like whenever that sun went down and started casting shade, they would not hit the spinnerbait anymore. So I went back to the Texas rig. Oh, 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 he grabbed it. There's another one. So what these bass are doing right here, there's a point and there's a little bait fish hiding out on this point. I keep seeing them and these bass are corralling those bait fish up. And the bait fish are about this size. There he is. There he is. Another small one. We are catching the numbers. Oh, there he is. This is the tank right here, guys. This is the tank. Is that a bass? Oh, it was a turtle. He took my bait. Guys, I thought it was a 10 pounder. It was a 10 pounder, all right. A 10 pound turtle. So I went and got the kayak because I seen a spot back here where the bass kept feeding at that I just can't get to from the bank. And we've already caught the numbers, so now it's time to go catch some big bass. All right, so this is a little bit different setup you guys have not seen me use yet. This is a half ounce Trash Master jig. I put the shimmer swimmer on as a trailer. It's got a spring connector for the shimmer swimmer. So it's a truly weedless design. And the shimmer swimmer, I haven't shown you guys just yet, but it's got an actual little place to put the hook in right there. The reason I'm pulling the jig out, guys, they wasn't biting the spinnerbait that good earlier. This Trash Master jig got a little bigger profile. I can work a little bit slower because a lot of those bass were coming up and they were just grabbing the tail of that spinnerbait while I was working it. And I would have to work it really slow to get the bite. So I'm hoping I can work this a little bit slower and pick up those extra bites I'm missing. Ooh, something bit it. Got the hook in it. Got the hook in him. All right. Got one with old Trash Master jig. Now, guys, Catchco makes this jig too. I'm going to put it in the description. Put the link to it in the description where you guys can check it out. What the heck? Oh, there's a bass on there. Guys, I threw it out and I was getting a backlash out. And the bass had picked it up and swam out to the middle. All right, that's a little bit better one there. He's probably about two pounds. Let's let it go. Catch her again tomorrow. Oops, something's falling, guys. I've seen it. Yep, he picked it up. Oh, I got a hook in it. Got a hook in him. Get a hook in him. Another small one. So what I did there, guys, I got up next to the bank earlier. And I seen a bunch of fry up near the bank. They were probably like that long. So what I started doing, I'm throwing this Trash Master jig up at the bank and then I'm burning it out from the bank and dropping it. Dang! There's some big bass feeding on that tree over there, guys. Let's see if I can cast over there near it without getting close enough to spook them. I threw right in that tree. Watch me get a bite. That is a bite. Come out of there. 
I would have never got. Oh, that was a bite there. Got the hook in him. Got the hook in him. Come on, baby. This is a better one here, guys. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Oh, he came off at the boat. He was like a three pounder. There's a fish on there. Oh, there's a fish on there. I threw it over the limb, guys. The fish grabbed it. Come on, baby. How big is this joker? Come on up here. Oh, it's a good one. All right. So this jig is definitely catching the better bass today, guys. Let's see who's calling me. It's probably Mary from the fake car insurance company. Hello. Hi, Spencer. What's up? Uh, it's all good. I'm fishing right now, though. I got I got a, I got a bite. Right. Let me call you back. All right, bye. All right, bye. Yeah, one pick up now. Oh, oh, jeez, this is a big one. Oh yeah, this is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, son. All right. We got a better one with the jig, boys. Look at that. That is a pretty, pretty bass right there. As a choker. Let's let her go over here in the sun where you guys can see her good. See her swim off. Oh, oh, oh. There she went. She swam right off. That's what it's all about. Catching those big ones. Figuring out what baits to use. We gonna make it all the way. We don't care what they all will say.